are down over in uh, one of the farms that we cover and one of the things we do for them here is we get rid of all their moles for them. This whole area, 10 years ago, this is one of the first ever big contracts that I ever did. Um, this was literally, there was no grass, it was just all pure, pure molehills as far as the eye could see. Wow, what's going on there? That's crazy. <laughs> having a race. They're having some fun, aren't they? But well, we're going to have some fun now. Fino's having some fun, look. Where's that molehill? Where's the mole? Find it for me. Fino, you're getting a bit old nowadays. But you'll save me a job. What the hell What's going on? <laughs> you're getting something? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. You better not run into my van. What's going on? Why are you being so mental? You know we're scared of you. Just leave us alone. How intriguing. What was that all about? Oh. oh. They're fast, aren't and they? They are. They're really <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> What's going on? They're going to say hello to me. Will that make things better, do you think? This could be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> hello. Come on, sir. Oh, no, no, oh, no, we don't want to do that, uh, do we? No, we don't want no, any of no, that. No, 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 okay. Okay. Wow. I'm terrified about my van. I'm terrified of horses. <laughs> Why do they terrify me so much? That's got me adrenaline going on. The They're a bit like it. giant mad dogs. <laughs> Imagine if they had teeth like dogs. <laughs> that would be pretty scary, wouldn't it? Right, back, back to catching some moles. <laughs> what do you think, Fino? Fino, can you find me the mole run, please? Come on, find the camera. Come find me the mole run in here. We can see this is quite a fresh molehill because you can see how the darkness has come through and then it's dried off in, in, the, uh, in the sun and the, in the wind. Whereas these ones here, these are older molehills because they're all dry. You can see the, the, dry, the darkness underneath where it's still damp. Those are the freshest ones. So that's where I want to get my mole trap in first. So that's what we're going to do. And being as my lazy dog won't find the runs for me today, I'm going to have to do it myself. So let's have a look in this one. I'm going to poke around. This is called a dibber. Not my usual dibber, to be honest with you. Right, that should be it there. Let's have a look. Basically, what the dibber is, it's just got uh, a slightly wider tip on it, look than the rest of the shaft and when that pops through the soil all of a sudden it gets into the tunnel and pop and you can feel when it goes through like that. I think we might have got a false reading on that one there though. Oh there it is look. You see? And then there's the tunnel system look. You see this Rick? So we've got the tunnel going one way and the tunnel going the other way there, look. Can you actually see that? Do you want me to pull it back a little bit more? So there's one mole run, and there's the other one there, look. It's amazing the amount of disruption that a mole will do. And then let's try and get one of the traps in then. Especially uh, when one of the horses runs over it or the runs yeah, collapse they under the... Yeah, they calm down, don't they? But you see, this is, this is one of the problems that moles cause because wherever these surf these runs are, these tunnels, well, obviously the weight of a horse on it, if it's galloping across, the horse's hoof goes in there um, and it can basically snap its ankle. Uh, and that's a dead horse as opposed to a dead mole. So I'm afraid 
we have to get rid of the mould here and this is the reason why. Plus the other thing is as well, as any farmer will tell you, one of the biggest things that they have to produce every year for their, for their sheep and, and other animals like that is silage and when they're cutting the silage which is basically grass and hay and things like that for the animals to feed on in the winter time um, if there's molehills in there that gets cut up and put into the actual into the pile of, uh, of hay and then that starts to go rotten and the whole thing has to be thrown away so again it's, a, it's another problem that moles cause plus they carry listeria as well so, and it's theorised that they carry the TB as well like badgers do but uh, that's only a theory, don't quote me on it. Now basically what we do, the mole, run, mole, goes, mole trap goes into the run and this causes like a, a fake kind of tunnel, top to the tunnel. And when the mole runs through there, what happens is, as it goes through, I'll show you on this one, as the mole pushes through the tunnel, down that way, it pushes onto the trigger there and then basically bang and it's all over bang like that much the same as a rat trap but upside down basically but then always very very important when you're doing this is to mark your trap otherwise you'll lose your trap and you won't know whether you caught the mole or not so we'll get another one in down this way a little bit am i gonna have to find this pea now let's try this one here can you find it for me, Pino? Find them all, find them all. Come on, it's Otis. <laughs> Come on, here you go. Where's that rush? Do you got it? Come on, find it for me. She's like, she's moving in slow motion. What kind of a terrier are you? Come on, let's have a look. Get in there. There it is, good girl. Good girl. She found it. So, there's the run. You can see it in there, look. And that way, and up underneath the fence line. So it goes that way and that way. So what we'll do, we'll set the, set the doofus trap, which is basically pull the trigger back, sorry, the spring back, and then we push the trigger from the underneath like that. And we'll put that over the top. Hooks onto there, set the trigger how we want it, the same at the other end. It's weird, isn't it? I set millions of these without even thinking about it, and then as soon as you have to think about it, it becomes a difficult thing to do. Uh, and there we go, though. There's your triggers, the mole comes through there, pushes on that, bang. And it doesn't matter which way it comes, we shall get it. <laughs> That's very annoying. That's only going one way, that tunnel. Again, we push that in, cover up all the air gaps because a mole will actually pick up any kind of air gaps that there are and it'll avoid that. Uh, it'll avoid that. Uh, let's try one more mole trap over there. I think that's got through the fence, isn't it? It's probably an old barbed wire fence, isn't it? It's, it's an old chicken fence, yeah. This one, just go right underneath the fence line again. See, because moles, what they'll tend to do, they'll put their runs where the actual food source is. And what happens is the moisture collects on here, and it dribbles down, and it makes a line along with the bottom of the fence, and that's why you'll nearly always find mole hills 
going along the fence line because that's where the food source is and there's no point in putting a food source tunnel where there's no food and that's why they do what they do. Find it. There we go. What we'll do, we'll come back in a week's time and we'll hopefully have ourselves a mole. We'll know whether we've got a mole because we'll see one of these wires on the top sticking up where the trap has been set off. That must be, be one of my oldest traps. That I could have been set here all them years ago, 10 years ago, 10 or 11 years ago when I started doing this. Uh, well, wish us luck and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully next time we come back the horses won't attack us <laughs> come on Pino here we are again then so we're going to have a look one thing we forgot to do yesterday was we forgot to knock all the molehills over which is a <laughs> rule 101 about doing mole trapping always knock the molehills over after you've set the traps because then you'll know if there's any new ones I can't remember whether that trap was there yes that that molehill was there yesterday but let's have a look we might have caught one let's have a look so we can see here now the triggers are still down this one again triggers are still down i think i must put a new trap in that one there because i don't think that was there yesterday and this one ah this one ah that's annoying you can see here that the tr this um, goes over the trigger and the mole trap hasn't gone off because so I think what's going to be happened here is a backfill let's have a look sometimes when the soil is very dry oh there we go and that would have been caught mole in there but what's happened look it's filled the whole trap up with the sand the sandy soil here can be a real pain basically so we'll show you how we set it again so easier to do it than that way so basically we push that trigger forwards push the trigger forwards and that pushes this bit back on the top these are not my favorite traps to be honest and then the trigger bit that we just saw goes onto that hooks hooks on and you make sure that's back that shouldn't shouldn't have uh, had a backfill on it, but these things happen sometimes. Now we're going to reset that one back in there. Make sure that the, the the firing pins can go off. Refill that back in and mark a stick. And we'll put another one in on this one here. I think. From there, I think there might be a might have been a rabbit over there for smelling. The rabbit girl, <laughs> look at her. You enjoying yourself? <laughs> there is that tunnel. There's probably their food source here. There we go. That's a leather jacket. You can see that? That little grub there is like uh, gold to a mole. They love them. I think that's what that is anyway. There's its funny little face. Look, looks like something like an alien. But the moles absolutely love those and basically when they hatch out they are uh, uh, daddy long legs. So they're called chafer grubs. Is it chafer grubs? No, chafer grubs are the other thing that they love. These are leather jackets. Leather jacket. So that's probably what they're after. Uh, we'll mark that, leave the leather jacket in there so it smells nice and tasty. And yet again, we'll check again tomorrow. Hopefully the weather's okay anyway. Let's go and check on them bees now. Hey Pino, what should we do? Should we check out for some moles? So these traps have been in here now four or five days, I think it is. Um, still nothing in that three-way trap. Have a look. There's one over here, wasn't there? Ha ha! 
What do we have here? Have we had success? So as you can see, the trap has gone up. Look at the one end, the other end's still down. Let's have a look what we got. Have we finally got it? Yes, the tail of one mole. And you can actually see, I'm gonna drop it out of the trap. Let's have a look at the mole. So you've got these massive paddle paws at the front. Okay, and then in here, this nose is so, so sensitive. There's its eyes, look. Well, it's non-eyes, tiny. All they can do with those is sense whether it's light or dark. And then this is the killing part though. So you've got its nose, which is super, super sensitive. Sometimes the trap will just literally hit the mole on the end of the nose and it'll actually kill the, kill the mole outright. But if you look in here, look at its teeth. Oh, wow. Look at those. Okay, and once upon a time, I mean, they are cute, aren't they, to be honest with you, but the problem is, there's millions of these around here, millions and millions of them, and if you've got a horse, the horse is worth 10 grand, I don't know, 5 grand, a grand, 100 quid, if it breaks its leg, because it's gone down one of these runs, it's, the horse gets put down, so it's either this little chap or a massive horse, so, I think there's some horses tootling, tootling by now, by the sounds of things. What we're going to do with this little chap, though, is this is going to go back into the run, into the, the tunnel system, because they're so, so territorial, the smell of the other mole will keep that mole out of, out of, the, uh, out of the system. So as you can see, the mole went into there, and just for people who've watched too many Disney movies, and they think, oh, everyone, oh, everything, no, nothing should ever die. But watch how quick this is. So the mole comes through, it's pushing with those big paws of it, it's, and then, bang. And that's it, dead. So, we didn't need the scissor traps after all. But if you like and subscribe to our channel, we'll be showing you how we also use these because after the fourth day here, I was getting a bit annoyed. So, um, on the next one, we'll be using these scissor traps and they work in a similar fashion, really. The mole pushes through here. Um, I'll do it on that. And it pushes that and bang, same old thing. Like and subscribe, and you'll see when we do the next one. That's one less mole, one happy customer, and the horses can roam freely without a care in the world. Come on, Pino, let's go.